Feel like falling deeper. Cold nights, I'm too much. 12 seconds later. No, no, oh my god, <laughs> this stuff. No, oh my god. No, put it down. For dinner. No, it's okay. What you eat? Well, well, well. Oh, really? For free? For the free? For the free? Oh, valid. Oh, not valid. To the elevator, where you are currently looking north, not across Queen Anne Hill, which is one of Seattle's original neighborhoods. The large building you see on top of the hill. I got too many thoughts and too many problems. 수면이 답인 듯해서 또 잠. 친구가 불러 난 아직 졸려 말랐어 party and I call nobody. I'm a homebody, I'm a homebody. 잠난 건 집에서 내까진 쉬겠어. 요즘 그냥 숨 쉬며 조용히 지냈어. Living inside 나는 거의 뭐 식물이 간패 속갈라 맞춰 시키는 bop ring ring. 내내 chicken wing wings in my belly and my room stays smelly. 디저트는 gum jelly. iPhone에 닿자 동공은 반짝. I'm a homebody, yeah, I'm a homebody, yeah I meet nobody, cause I'm a homebody, yeah I'm a homebody, yeah, I meet nobody I'm a homebody, yeah I'm a homebody, yeah. I meet nobody, cause I'm a homebody, yeah. I'm a homebody, yeah. I meet nobody. Bam and one and day. Jam and I know day. Work and moon tarebon at you. Be on side and why I'm gay. But you don't like me. But you don't like me. I want you to like me. Pyong's away. You're like, come on, none of the nigga. Bam and Jackie Shimshim Martemon. Good and mad and a nabaki moon and a naughty no me, G. Who got bored of the anime? Boom, chagalan, and go me, G. Can they jump? Can they get camp? Can Sonia Gihana is so on the morning? Come, Muri, yeah, Nani Jigan go to the yappy room. Jim, your son. What's up, guys? I hope you like the Seattle like recap and also just the typical day in my life for it's week five right now of um, the UC system, so it's been like really hectic for me. I have a midterm next week. I know like people say junior year is usually the most like hectic like year, but this this last quarter has been kicking my ass. 
As you guys just saw too, me, Maddie, and Josh went to um went to Seattle. You know, we had a good time. We actually like set up an itinerary for like the four days that we were there. Not to throw any shade at Seattle, but to be honest, I just don't think it was that eventful. It's not like typical city like, you know, like Los Angeles or New York. It's kind of more mellow. So coming in at number one, um, this is actually a pickup I got in December, but I just thought I would include it in this spring pickups type of video. I am talking about this lavender um, hoodie from Adam Small. If you guys don't know who Adam Small is, um, he's like a small content creator slash like clo clothes maker. I how do I say this? Like brand, I guess. He makes some beautiful stuff. You guys should go check him out. I really like his style. I don't think it comes across well in the video, but the wash. When it's when he says wash lavender, that's really what it is. Like I don't think I've ever seen a piece like this. You guys know I like my hoodies cropped, but this one actually has a much wider base than the Yeezy Gap hoodie. Like so, what I mean is that like at the waist, the Yeezy Gap hoodie is much more cinched, but, but this one is much wider. But it kind of gives it this really cool like lounge aesthetic. Adam Small nailed it with this hoodie. It's nice and fluffy. It's very oversized, which I really like. It gives this, it gives that really cool like Assassin's Creed aesthetic, I guess. And um, you know, drops up shoulders. And yeah, I mean, this hoodie's fantastic. One thing I will say though is that it's not available anymore. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know, but. He's working on it. I know that he's actually gonna be releasing a bunch of hoodies soon. So if I were you guys and I and you guys like this hoodie, I would really uh, look into his Instagram and follow him just to see what he's up to and like any future updates he has on this hoodie. Okay, yeah, so the next piece I'm gonna talk about is this black Uniqlo U blazer. I think my aesthetic has kind of fluctuated very recently. So like uh, over the summer, I guess I was going more for like a streetwear type look but then I kind of leaned more into this like classy slash chic aesthetic so I think in the future I kind of want to mix the two I saw this on the Uniqlo U uh, spring collection and I just thought that this uh, jacket just like fit what I was looking for so it's pretty oversized but I do think that it, it, it it's going for that look right because if it were to size it would kind of look really weird for the price i think it's a little bit too expensive yeah it's like an okay cotton material but it's something like amazing and it was it retailed for 90 bucks i think that it could have and should have been probably around 70 but i mean i don't really have any complaints considering that i know that i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this so yeah nico you blazer okay so the next piece i'm gonna talk about is this ald um Logo tee has the has this AMA Queens New York logo right here, and it's uh pr and it's printed on and it's actually like sort of embossed like all across the back too. And this this like forest green is it's tremendous. Like it's like my using big words like tremendous. <laughs> Say that the fit is a little long. So ALD like when it comes to their outerwear slash like shirts is pretty oversized. Like this is a small. Um, for reference, I'm 5'10", and even then in a small, it's still pretty long. So yeah, I would say if you're buying anything from ALD, probably like size down like one or two sizes. Cause like usually I'm like a medium or a large, right? But I got this as a small. So yeah, that's just something to know. The next pickup is just this uh, Lolabo bag. I actually purchased the, uh, the Matcha 26. While I was there, I spotted this tote bag and I thought it was you know, it was pretty, it was pretty nice, you know, you guys a little bit of a rundown of the, the bag, but it has this like really cool vintage ruggedness to it. And the material is very strange. If I had to like summarize what the material is, it's like canvas with like a little bit of like a, I, I want to say almost like a lubricant, but like don't, like it's not that weird to be honest. I. It's really hard to describe, but yeah, I don't think this is like any other canvas tote bag I've ever felt before. And the last pickup is something I've been eyeing for for so long. It is these beautiful mid blue wash 
Acne Studios Trash Jeans. If you guys know me, you guys know that I had a very unpleasant experience with jeans. I would buy jeans from Uniqlo. I bought jeans from like Levi's. And even though like people say that Levi's jeans are like some of the best, I just don't think that it fit my like body shape that well. Like, there will always be something like very off-putting about the jeans, the length, the waist, the hips, etc. Right? But these fit perfectly. So just a rundown of these uh, jeans. It has this like beautiful knee wash right here and just like a lot of like the whiskers and stuff like that looks so natural too um if you look at the back it has like this like beautiful vintage wash right here um and it has this pink acne studios logo right here i really do think that jeans are something that you should invest in i bought countless amount of like other mid blue wash jeans and just none of them have fit me and i've worn you know like i would wear them for maybe like six months to like a year and i just like rotate them out so i'm just I don't, i'm tired of that i'd rather just get one pair that i truly love and that i would wear all the time and these are it